Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new episode of WWE Supercard, episode number 12. And we've got a big episode today, guys, but I say big. It's just those platinum packs, but they are big rewards. So yeah, I'm joined on a Discord by T2 and Mr. Echo himself, who has been muted. <laughs> but yeah, flame. Um, so before we actually get into the platinum pack, um, a little a little special honor for Flame. I just want to show that everyone uh, that I did get I did get a pull, a little beast pull, guys, and it just happened to be a, <laughs> a Peyton Royce. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be my third beast, female pro, which is brilliant. I need to get working on that. I need to get working on all those pros I have though. So for once, I'm literally, I don't even really want a pro from Battleground to be honest. I'm, I'm got, I've got so much work to do in pro, proing already. But let's get into it, guys. Um, who knows? If we get two Titans in a row, that'd be pretty crazy. Um, yeah, three, two, and one. All right, no, no Titan. Two beasts and a monster. You know. All right, let's get into it. Let's see. Let's see who we're gonna get though. Um, beast wise. To be fair, more females, I suppose. Um, but that's pretty much it. We'll just, yeah, just cards that I can pro, get it out of my catalogue. And for the monster, monster female is definitely what I want to be getting. First beast, Rusev. Second beast, Luke Harper. Alright. And our monster is... Carl Anderson. It is a pro, guys. A pro. Um, I'll take it. I'll take that. I'm going to be getting so many monster pros, to be fair. Now, um, cause, yeah, I've got, I do have a lot of monsters, but there he is, so I really do have a lot of cards to work on. Peyton, then Neville and Carl Anderson, Monster, and then Eddie Guerrero and Alistair Black in Titan. So that's four, that's four, that's five cards I need to get done. That's four, five, ten, ten actually. So that's going to be, it's going to be a lot of work, but hopefully we'll get that done. And I will be back, guys, later in this video for a little bit, maybe of Chamber, and probably for the finale of, um... The RTG, which I need, to, I need to get cracking. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you in a bit. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the episode. I really can't remember what episode. Episode number 12. Um, it's been, it's been a, God, it's been a hectic journey. I didn't think it would be this hard, but... Cause especially the fact they made Road to Glory kind of easier. Managed to pretty much plus six throughout um, the whole of Eddie and, like, even a couple points on, on the event card, but... It was, it just seemed kind of tough. I got to a very good spot very early on, as you guys know. I streamed a lot of it, and I was really confident. With, like, two and a half days left, we pretty much, like, were at the end of Eddie Guerrero. And it still took me absolutely ages. Um, and, yeah, I just, yeah, I was kind of busy in a way as well. The days went by, and I was still just not getting anywhere. But kind of sat down today and, and just got it done, streamed for a couple of hours, if you guys were there thank you so much, but yeah let's get into it, I don't know why I didn't start playing already, the games are long, I should start, not him because he's probably doing what I'm doing, but this guy, let's get into game number one, we'll do obviously the two games, you guys saw where I'm at, um, so yeah, it was been, it's been, yeah it's been pretty busy, I literally have gotten nowhere on proing the Eddie, well it's getting game for on the second Eddie, on the Alistair Blacks, nothing like that. Because I've just been focusing on what well, the the time I have been on Supercard, which is quite a lot to be fair, but not as much as as the last couple couple days before yesterday and the day before. Um, so yeah, it was it was just yeah it was just kind of slow. But it, that that said, no progress on the on the cars I need to get proed. But thank God we do have Team Road to Glory coming up. In a way, thank God. But in a way, it's gonna it's again it's just more Road to Glory, which I've just been spending the last days. The last like three days on Road to Glory, but it's 24 hours. Once that's done, then it's easy sailing until the next solo Road to Glory. So we're going to smash that out. Hopefully the Titan card is not a pro for me, actually. I'm almost wishing it isn't a pro because I've got so much to pro already. But, you know, um, it's going to, yeah, that'll, that'll be, that'll be, that'll be fine, I suppose. That will be tomorrow, of course, so I will be streaming again then. Um, and that is pretty much, that's pretty much it, Sunday, Sunday night right now, two, well actually it's Monday isn't it, it's, yeah it's 2am on Monday for me right now, so I'm going to get this done and then I'm going to bed, um, so yeah, round three, just uncommon, uncommon deck by the way guys, you know the, you know the strategy by now I'm pretty sure, if you guys don't know the strategy, put all uncommons in your deck, Bang in two good managers, uh, hopefully compatible and, and also, you know, to the whole deck managers, deck, uh, yeah, managers basically. 
uh, but two stat managers obviously. And, and yeah, you'll pretty much win everything and comfortably make sure when you go into the game, if they're like, if they're um, image, their champion, if it's like a monster or a titan card, and you'd like they're doing exactly what you're doing. So maybe don't pick them because that way they might have, they might have the uh, same managers you do and you might lose it, but you also might win it. But it's taking a risk. Just make sure you, they don't have many games played, you know, they have a... A rare, super rare, whatever it is, is their champion, and you you know you're going to win the game. You just know you are, so you can just mindlessly tap. Um, it's a lot easier. Obviously, only do it when you can't win your plus sixes anymore. There's no point doing it if not. And uh, it's very easy. And I know a couple people might not know about this, so there we go. That is how you do it. I hope you did uh, understand everything that I did say there. It it, it is um, it's not that complicated, really. As I said, uh, just. Or you'd put all your. I will show you my road to glory deck right now before we get into the last game. But there it is. It's ultra rare plus, and there's a couple commons to be fair. I don't know. It's just because at the time I didn't have enough on commons to fill out, and I haven't really bothered to put on uh, fill it out with the uh, get rid of the commons, put uncommons in because I there was no need. I'm winning with this, fine. But you can see right there, I got monster compatible managers, which are helping a lot, obviously. So that's why that is it, and and. It's all thanks to the managers, of course. So, even if you don't, you don't have to have this good managers to be able to do what I'm doing. If they're SummerSlam, WrestleMania, that's good enough. You you might not win 11-2, you might win 9-4 or something, or or 8-6, but you'll win the game. Um, there's no worry there. Let's get into our last game right now. Deno C68 wins. You know he's not doing what I'm doing. You know it's pretty. Uh, it's going to be a pretty comfortable game, and we are definitely at the end of this game. We're going to go ahead and get our Gobbledygooker Pro. Again, I I think obviously the priority in Team Road to Glory, I'm going to put Gobbledygooker in the both slots. No, actually, sorry, in one slot. The other one will be the second Andy Guerrero because the first one's done. So by the end of um, yeah, halfway throughout or three quarters throughout the Team Road to Glory, I will already have. Both the event card, Gobbledygooker and Eddie Guerrero, to be able to pro. I'll chuck in the Alistair Blacks. They won't get completely done, but it'll definitely get about halfway on them, so that will be handy. And uh, in the meanwhile, my Peyton Royce female beasts will be in the female slot to get the games played on that, so I can pro her as well. And by the end of the Team Road to Glory, we should be already kind of emptying, um, well, emptying out our combinables, um, getting, getting a lot of them proed. I say, you know, and then we can start working on, uh, we'll finish off Alastair Black, finish off the Peyton Royces, and then of course we will we start on to Carl Anderson and Neville Monster, because obviously priorities are the Titans, so I am going to have my hands filled, it will probably go up all the way to uh, the solo ring domination, um, that's where I'll finish off my monsters. And yeah, by then hopefully we haven't you know got an abundance. I mean, obviously that's where you want to get pros, but at this point it takes a long time to get them done. I don't I don't want to have so many of them where I just don't even look forward to getting them pro. You know, uh, I don't want it, I don't want my luck to run out completely. I just want it to be like you know I get one done, then I get another. One. I don't I don't want to have like seven cards to have to pro and it being too much and not kind of being enjoyable. Uh, which is kind of the situation I'm in now, but I'm not like complete. I'm not angry, of course, because it's the beginning of the of the season, and it's help. It's going to help me out massively. But from now on, maybe not have this many star cards to combine. Sorry if I'm uh, making a lot of people angry, being like, "I'll oh, be grateful, dude. You have all these pros. I am. I am grateful. My luck has been uh, awesome, and I'm not going to complain with that." So this game is pretty much done. <laughs> So for all the rambling guys, I'm pretty tired. When I'm tired, I ramble. Um, might not make sense to some people, but yeah, that's just what I do when I'm kind of really tired. There it is, guys. Take a picture for the thumbnail, but gobbledygooker is done. Road to glory is complete until the next one, until the pro of the next event card, so that will be good. It won't be a goddamn chicken or turkey. It will actually be a real card. Uh, that said, I am very happy I did manage to get the first event card. My event streak continues throughout Season 4 for now. It might uh, might drastically end um, in Season um, 4, but right now it looks like if, if nothing bad, like some un, some horrible kind of, you know, like some bad luck or something goes wrong, I should 
be getting every single event card in Season 4. So that will be awesome. And who knows, maybe my event streak can continue on to Season 5. Because the, the first one was the one that I was the most worried about, obviously. At this point, my, my RD deck is Titan tier. I'll be in England. Of course, uh, I'll be in England at kind of an annoying-ish time, but it's better than if it was in Road to Glory. It's going to be ringed on, so I can afford to, you know, one day we'll be travelling, the other day will be the Arsenal match and just out all day, but two days is enough to just get through the RD. If I kind of just push through it, I won't be streaming, obviously, so I'll just be there trying to get through it as quick as, uh, as, quick as I can. So, uh, to end off this video, guys, the comments... Or the qu the mailbox question of the episode. That's what it's officially called. Mailbox question of the episode comes to you by a user um, named Pedro Sayage. I'm pretty sure. Um, what's your favourite money in the bank cash in? So I've got a couple. I've got Edge on John Cena. Um, I, that, I I really enjoyed that one. I've got. The CM Punk cash in, um, but the the main cash in for me because it was probably the biggest cash in when I was a big WWE fan watching it live, not there but on you know watching it on like the network, um, was the Seth Rollins cash in at WrestleMania. I want to say thirty. I could be wrong with that. It might be thirty one. Um, but in the main event against Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns, um, it was a great cash-in. It really was a great cash-in, and I didn't really see it coming. So that was pretty freaking awesome. I'll say, I'll say that is my favourite cash-in of all time. So thank you so much for your, uh, your question, Pedro. And I'm pretty sure you also had a question, Mr. Grumpy. Uh, cool guy, what is your favourite card from Season 1 and why? Ultimate um, Sheamus, because of the thing I said in the last episode about it being the, the first fusion I got, or like, no, not the first, but that the fond memory of getting that ultimate fusion, being so excited about it. And also, um, season one, WrestleMania Kane, because it was the first and only WrestleMania card I ever got. So that was pretty awesome. So thank you as well for your question. Uh, Dylan, uh, hey Matt, uh, my question is, if you had to choose one of your favorite big pack openings, which one would it be? Um, so my favorite pack opening, I, I do have a lot of back openings, I'm not going to lie, uh, I, if I go right now and look at them. My most viewed video is a 30k credit WrestleMania 33 pack opening, I really did love that pack opening, but that actually wasn't my favourite pack opening. My favourite pack opening is probably my Christmas pack opening, my 30k credit pack opening, I did a part 1 and a part 2. Um, it was just, it was a lot of fun, we spent a lot of credits, but... We got, it was, yeah, it was ultimate throwbacks, and it was the memories, we had some, it was just the whole Christmas vibe, it was, it was so much fun, and I loved that, and that was literally back when we had 500 subscribers, which is amazing, and I can't believe we're going into this Christmas with, with all of, of, all of you new subscribers, so, so grateful, um, again, thank you for your question, Dylan, um, keep these questions coming, guys. I am really grateful to all of you guys for being here. Of course, Christmas is coming up again this year, and I do plan on having some cool Christmas streams. Of course, we can't have it on YouTube, so I plan on doing some on Twitch. I'll talk more about that later. But, yeah, the main thing is um, you guys are absolutely awesome. The support's been crazy recently. Thank you so much. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll see you very soon. Until then, take care and peace out.